what is up cuties it's your girl Karina and you probably read the title and you basically know what we're doing today we are styling clothes that I feel like I've never worn so I was recently going through my closet and you know just doing the normal like getting ready for myself I was looking at certain items and I was like huh why don't I pick that? What is it about this item that I don't basically wear? Also, that's another thing too, where it made me realize that I have definitely gotten better at figuring out like my personal style. Repeated this so many times, but I feel like throughout the years of just trying different things has definitely given me the opportunity to just kind of understand the type of clothing that I personally like appeal to that i enjoy more sometimes i thrift them and i do maybe like the thrift haul like you know the overlay of me trying the item and then i don't wear it out that's the items that i was looking at in my closet i thought we would see if i can style them cute or if they just gotta go also leave me your suggestions down below on maybe items you struggle with styling or if you actually find some of these items that you think i should probably keep and yeah grab yourself a coffee baby or a tea a little drinky drink because you gonna need it <laughs> i don't know why i have my blazer here this i do wear but when i was actually looking at my closet and picking some of these items i realized the ones that i'm afraid to wear has to deal with like it's a color a pattern or a silhouette i think i have to start off with this one this is such a fun piece it's a cowl print like vest but i think for me the issue is the print in itself i feel like is a lot for me it's your homegirl did a video where she like helped you with your style dilemmas and she helped me figure out how to style this and she had cool innovative ways of styling it but i don't want to cheat and use her format so I'm gonna see if I can style it in my own way. Maybe this is more of a statement and everything else is a little bit more neutral because my immediate thought would be to do like a whole monochromatic outfit, but I feel like even that, like the color brown can be a lot. This vest in particular doesn't, doesn't fit like to zip it up. It's more like an open vest. So that's probably also another thing. It's like very limited. So I have to style it where I can style it kind of open. First immediate thought was to pair it with like a dress and i think this dress would be perfect because the vest can easily lay and it has like these puff sleeve detailing and it gave me very like cowgirl like and i kind of think that's fun and i kind of want to play into that this layered on top would look really nice i do kind of want to play with that like western theme could do a cowboy boob or i can play into the color and like wear these i feel like with this i would wear the cowboy boots i think i'm gonna do that and see how it goes see so i quickly wanted to show you how this looks like without the vest great outfit that i feel like i would already wore but now i feel like if we add the vest it's gonna add just a little something so okay so i am not gonna lie i am kind of surprised by this outfit because i really wasn't enjoying this vest at all and i was at the point where i just knew it was gonna be one of those things that I would eventually declutter and I think it was just in my closet sitting there for a long time. But when I put this together, I'm shook if y'all. This is a great outfit. I can picture myself going to like the Silver Lake Flea or that one's like more Y2K, but I think there's one called the Pickwick or something like that showing up like this. Like it gives me kind of those vibes. I treated it as a statement and I think it worked. Like. There's nothing really clashing because everything else is very simplistic. I think the print and the color was just more daunting for me. What do you think? I'm like shocked. I think, yeah, keeping it as a statement was a great way of styling it. But so am I going to keep this? I don't know, because if this is the only way I can like style this vest, I don't think it's worth keeping for that reason. I just feel like with a vest like this, because I can't like zip it up and wear it like a shirt. And I don't know what particular way that i would style it <laughs> besides this one like, for those reasons i think i might have to let this one go this next item might shock you y'all because i feel like it's one of those fun trendy pieces that we've been seeing in a lot of people's closets throughout the years i tried it out for myself and i don't know if i just vibed with it or maybe i just didn't know how to style it that i never wore these out and it is a very simplistic 
piece, but it's more of the silhouette. I think that I just don't know how to style. That is these like long shorts or they're shorts. I thrifted these, I want to say last summer maybe i can't remember i remember being so excited because i feel like shorts are one of those things that i have such a difficult time like finding or even at the thrift store like i definitely need to take a pair of jeans of mine and like cut them love a long short of course but i feel like this one was too long for my liking um, and i maybe just didn't feel like i knew how to style this i feel like i need to stick to like my basics of what i know to style like one of my go-to's is like wearing a tube top or like a baby tee like just the simple kind of tees that i wear with everything i'm gonna go look at my closet see what i can style this with and i feel like because of the length is so long maybe it has to be like a top that is short so let's see what this takes us because i have no idea see part of me wants to go neutral with this um because i'm just used to that but i also think like a fun pattern would be fun like top can be like a strapless top but it has like this necktie and it's in this navy blue color and i don't know what it is like i feel like that would look cool is it better to have something crop with this so see so yeah, i have this simple black tee that's a little bit more fitted do maybe a looser tee like this but it's not really cropped you know but i think it'd be fun too but that that's giving 90s i've also seen people style it with like vest i think i'm gonna try these on see which one i like more the good thing about shorts i feel like you can put any top with it and it should go so i brought three different kinds i've seen the george styled with like vest so i thought it'd be fun with this vest that has just this embroider on it and i thought just a black tee with even the cowboy boots i feel like that would look cool if i'm afraid of a certain item i feel like i should style it with my basics you know but then i really do like this idea of this pattern top it's navy blue with white and I think it'd be fun with the shorts. And let's check. Moment of truth on these shorts. I'm a little nervous they're not gonna fit. They do, actually, quite comfortably. I'm telling you, y'all, I feel like sticking to my staples has really worked out for me because I think I really like this. A classic black tee, and then I think the boots are a little bit more different. So instead of it just kind of being like, I guess, a quote unquote, very simplistic outfit, the boots kind of add a little like, ah. I don't know what the heck that was, but it adds a little like, ah. yeah, as I'm looking at this right now, I like it. I think that's really also like a great like validity to me about how I appreciate that I've been like building a more like timeless wardrobe in my closet having these classic pieces that I like they have different silhouettes it's very interchangeable and versatile I'm used to shorts being like you know up here and I'm not gonna lie I haven't worn anything this high-waisted in a very long time these two first pieces were pretty easy maybe there's other items that I'm gonna style right now that it's like no, they're not going to work out. I wasn't expecting so far to like the styles that I'm creating, but I'm enjoying it. So I wanted to do something different. I feel like we did a top, we did bottoms. So now I have this dress here. The thing is, originally, I think why I didn't style this was because I didn't feel like I had the undergarments for this. I think now that we have more of the whole like, this is that trend called? Oh my god, my brain just had like a brain fart. It's just a see-through clothing trend. I can't think of the trend what it's called. But and this one is definitely a see-through slip dress. Never wore it out because I'm like, I don't think I have the proper undergarments for this. But now I'm thinking I can definitely do like the whole see-through trend with this. And I think especially for me if i'm going to be wearing it out i need to have a cover-up so i'm thinking either denim jacket and maybe flats i have like these purple flats i think that will look cute too so let's see so i wanted to show you the slip just on it's really nice like it's i did pair it with this color bra that i have and i tried to make it a little bit not so showy but either way you can probably see it here but i think it's fine because it looks like it's part of the dress i don't feel like you can actually see the undergarments that much which i thought you could have like i said because this dress already has a pattern and a color i just decided to go with that so i paired it with these purple belly flats that i have now to make it more i feel like for me wearable is putting a jacket it just adds another element of comfortability for me and it's perfect because even if i think it was a little see-through like this really does 
cover if that's something that you're not comfortable with but this dress to me was giving more casual so that's why i had a difficult time like styling it casual <laughs> i really thought this one was not gonna hit if i can hit i mean i don't know if it's a cute outfit you tell me if you think i think it's cute i would totally wear this for the rest of the day like this whole styling part of it is all around styling it with something i'm comfortable with i'm noticing that it makes it more easier and more wearable for me so your homegirl is learning how to style her pieces y'all. So i actually want to do this blouse right here but i don't know if it's the silhouette or the color it is like a very cream beige color it's just been throwing me off like the only thing i feel like i've styled it before which is so like 2018 karina was like with high-waisted denim jeans um, my immediate thought is also like trousers and i feel like if i wear like a long denim skirt i think that'd be too much like like going to church and i don't want that either i might take some inspo from pinterest because i just don't know because i can basically style it very simplistic but part of me wants to do a little bit different than i would style it and i could picture this with a black mini skirt but then that's too office and i don't want to style it office so like for me my first thing is like shorts oh a little kitten heel what if i have these prada with the little like buckle and they're brown but then I also have these pink Pradas. What if something like that? You know what? I feel like this top would look good with capris, but I'm not a capri girl. I'm gonna check my bottoms and see what I can think of. Okay, I'm back and I had an idea. So I thought, and I remember I have these Donnie shorts that are literally like clown shorts, but I love to wear them out. I think they're really fun. Luigi actually just got back from fixing it because I had a hole in there and he just finished fixing it for me. How about this with this? I think a very casual like way of styling it originally i thought about the prada like kitten heels which i feel like could work to have like a fun pop of, of color but but then i saw these shoes on my way out and i was like, what if something like that we're gonna go have dinner with co-workers kind of vibe i think i'm gonna try each shoe and see what i like more but i also thought these would be freaking fun okay so i put the whole outfit together and the thing that's bothering me is this button it might be a little too flashy i don't know i'm just gonna unbutton it because <laughs> I didn't like how that it was leaving like a hole in between. Probably maybe in the future, like add some tape here. This top overall, I feel like just gives very business. Like <laughs> I tried to see if I can style it a little bit outside of business, but I still feel like this outfit gives business. I was talking to my fiance because I was debating on the shoes and he thought the Prada kitten heels give more of a businessy vibe and how these shoes just changed the whole outfit. So I ended up wearing those black like platform shoes which to be honest these are really comfortable by the way and they're by circus new york if you're interested in it i'm also like six feet tall in this i always say i'm five seven and y'all are shocked by it but yeah i am five seven and with these on i'm like six feet y'all i didn't really accessorize a lot of these but i feel like the way you accessorize it completely changes the style and the silhouette but i really just wanted to like go to the basics and like style the top with like different items i'm surprising myself when i thought of this video and i was like okay i'm gonna style items i don't wear like i thought i was just gonna end up decluttering most of them because i just didn't like it <laughs> but i'm so shocked on how like i'm figuring out how to style it maybe it's just the juice in me today as well it's just like the creative juices are flowing this is why it's important to have fun and play dress up and get out of your comfort zone because like i said i never thought I would wear these pieces right. again i think we're heading into the last piece because it's close to one o'clock for me and i'm actually gonna go film a thrift with me right after this so let's pick a last item getting to like leather so i think this leather jacket or i also have these leather pants i kind of want to do the outerwear piece i think it was 2020 or 2021 leather blazers were popping off and this one i don't know what it is i don't know if it was the color it's like this khaki dark green um, and it's a leather blazer. I don't know what it is. I just never really gravitated towards it. It sucks because it's such a good jacket. <laughs> so I want to style it like, kind of in a way that, you know, I feel I would add a leather jacket. Because I've also been more into like the leather bombers. So I haven't worn a leather blazer like this in a while. You wear jackets like this and it's almost the same length as like your mini skirts or your shorts. Um, now, now I'm interested to see how it looks with this. <laughs> I'm looking at this and it look, looks kind of nice. Like maybe if I change the top. Do I have my closets here? But it's mainly tops and dresses. I don't have any bottoms here. So I remember I have this top. And I actually did a little DIY and I cut the sleeves off because I wasn't wearing it 
because of the sleeves. But I think this with that jacket and with these sh shorts, that's gonna work. It's also like mesh, so it's kind of like that see-through vibe that we've been into. I like that, and I think I'm gonna wear boots, like knee-high boots. Because I was initially was gonna do like an all-black thing, but I have a black maxi skirt, so I'll bring that as well, and we can see how it looks with shorts and a maxi skirt. We have the outfit, and again, I still can't believe that I'm finding ways to style this. This is kind of still very monochromatic because obviously like the green in this top really ties nicely with the jacket because it's just like various different greens on it. So it doesn't seem very stark because I originally thought maybe like a black tube top. This just makes me think I need to play around with my closet more. Maybe pick the same items all the time and I don't really think outside of the box and I think this has allowed me to relook at items differently. I do want to show you how it would look with like a longer skirt. So let me go grab it. I hope I don't fall while doing this. <laughs> yes, I'm too lazy to take off the shorts. So we're going to put it with the shorts. It's really hard to tell in the viewfinder if I like it or not. It doesn't, I don't feel like it hits that great <laughs> as much as this short did. What do you think, Luigi? You were here for both. Luigi's outside of the frame, by the way. Do you like it with the shorts? Yeah, with the shorts. Right, this sits a little bit different. But I also thought you can easily like style it like this too. So good thing I went with the shorts because I wasn't sure if I liked the shorts or the skirt initially. We got a fit. We got a fit. So we definitely styled items that I haven't worn and truly gave me inspiration to actually wear them more often. I just feel like I easily get in routine when it comes to selecting my clothing and just wearing, you know, what's comfortable for you and just easier, which obviously you should definitely do. Maybe I should like low-key have a rack on the side where I see these items because, you know, our closets can be big or just depending on the season, like we don't select certain items. I think it's really crucial to like look into your closet and like figuring out what are items that you are wearing more, gravitating more, and maybe also realize that maybe those items aren't for you. I initially thought these items I was gonna declutter, but now I'm like, I don't know if I need to because I just, really like how I styled them. Let me know what you think of this video. It was completely different and I really had fun because I just feel like sometimes like for me when it comes to outfits like I get very in tune with a certain style or aesthetic and I thought this would be a fun way to just play dress up but also be more selective on like the items that I keep in my wardrobe. Anyways, I really hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a like. And if you are new, please hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to share it if you can. Homegirl's trying to reach 100K and I wanna do a massive giveaway. So please share it with your buddies, your homegirls, everyone. <laughs> I truly appreciate it. If you wanna keep up with me, you can follow me on all my socials. I'm Living as Karina on IG and TikTok and my Pinterest. I link it down below below if you're interested in it. That is all for me loves. I love you lots. Thank you for taking the time to watch the vid and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye!